Boy, the house is full already. How is everybody doing? Let me get over here to what I'm telling you. This is going to be um, very exciting and very interesting. I know, I know nowhere the amount of knowledge that I should about these, but I do know enough to get myself into trouble. And then we all have this, most everybody, I should say, because there are some people that don't. We all have this in our pocket, right? Does everybody know how to use Google Lens? Do you have Google Lens app on your phone? See that? Let me unplug this. I'm telling you. See that app? These are the most important things on my phone. Look. The ones that are in big, those are my most important things. See that Google Lens right there? Oh, my goodness. Just opened up whatnot. That's okay. If you don't have Google Lens, you do have Google Photos in your Google. And you can open Google Photos up and you can here. That's not going to work. And you can choose a photo out of your photo stream. Let me find one here. Holy moly. Let's find one that, uh, here we go. And there's the photo and see down here, this little lens button. I literally bought that thing for $5 at an estate sale or a, at a garage sale last weekend. I knew what it was, that it was Jim Shore. And then it's going to bring up these comps for it. I have mine listed for $89. we will see. Anyway, if you don't know how to use Google Lens or you don't have it on your phone, I would highly suggest that you get that put on your, um, that you, that you get that, whether you're a reseller or not, if you're buying things for yourself, or if you just don't know, you can shoot a picture of a plant leaf. You can shoot a picture of your shoes, anything. It will, it will tell you just about anything you want to know. All right. So I got to turn my fan up a little bit. <laughs> Um, the Wuzu fan. I hope it's not too loud, but that's where it's at. All right, let me go down here and see every everybody that do a quick little little thing. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, welcome in. My name's Noel. I go by Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. If you're not new here and you came back, why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, if you're not new here and you came back, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. You're awesome. We have Jeremy. Thank you for coming in. He's always early. We have Miss Denise. Thank you, Denise. I hope you're still here. We have my girl Rhonda. She's got junk in her trunk. <laughs> we have Maggie from Canada. Hi, Maggie. Michelle, how are you? Doug, Doug, how are you? Terry, hi. Ethel, how are you doing, Brett? Brett's my Ethel. Um, do, 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 she's saying hi. Jack and Piper. We have, who else, who else, who else? I don't want to, oh, what? You must be bored, Rachel. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Um, Rachel invented Google lens that I, I, I would, that would be more believable if it was Drew, the reseller, who's not a reseller. Um, anyway, so, um, and goody Ma Oh, thanks for being new. Thanks for coming in, Barb. <laughs> Don't believe much of what she says. Hi, Sarah. 
Sarah from Kentucky. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. All right. Jan will be here sooner or later. She has been moving my friend Jan Antiques from, from Karen. And we're going to do a little show and tell down in her mom's, the basement of her mom's house. Um, and we're going to go over some parts and pieces that she has down there because, you know, this isn't just about lamps. And anybody can Google a lamp, but there, if, if you go to estate sales, especially estate sales out in the country or deep in the city, that's a place that's been there for a long time, they're going to have a garage or a shop that is full of stuff like what we're going to see. Barb is new everywhere. Is this a rerun? No, not, not today. Um, anyway, so. Um, they've been moving stuff to their barn that they got finished and they're having dinner and I told her not to stress out because I got plenty to talk about till she gets here. All right. First things first. We are going to talk about something. I know I've talked about it before, but we're going to talk about it again because you guys and gals and people and any of the little doggies and kitties that might be helping um, to, I'm trying to open this so I can, I got to be able to read the chat over here. Um, there we go. Hopefully I have the sound turned off. I do. Okay. Um, I need to turn that off. Sorry if you can hear that. All right. Let's see. Top chat live chat. All right. Okay. eBay has a policy called search manipulation policy. A lot of this stuff that I have is the link to it is down in the description. I call this AKA keyword spamming. Okay. Um, you are not allowed to keyword spam. You are not allowed to put Tiffany style lamp because you're using the word Tiffany to bring people into your listing. You are not allowed to use Chanel styled purse or Louis Vuitton style slippers or anything like that. So manipulating eBay search and browse experience by adding popular keywords to your listings that don't have any relation to your items or using other tactics that could mislead buyers is not allowed. To make sure our search results give buyers the best experience possible, it is also important to accurately describe your items, use a clear title, and list in the appropriate categories. What is the policy? Manipulating search results to gain unfair visibility of a listing is not allowed. Using keywords that are not directly related to the item for sale is not allowed. If all the words in the listing need to be accurate and refer only to the item for sale. If the item is an accessory for a compatible with another item fits for or compatible with should be stated before the name of the compatible item. So if you have a Tiffany lamp base, it is compatible with a Tiffany lamp shade. If you have a Tiffany lamp finial, then it is compatible with a Tiffany lamp shade because that's what holds the shade onto the lamp. Does that make sense? Listings that make comparisons with other products are not allowed. A plastic look alike Tiffany lamp cannot be referred to as Tiffany style lamp. Since we're talking about lamps, I'm just going to use that. Listings that promote other listings are not allowed. Listings cannot include keywords with question marks like, I think this is a Tiffany lamp, question mark. I think this is a coach purse. <laughs> or coach purse with a question mark after afterward. You can't do that kind of stuff. And honestly, if you don't know what your item is, you should not list it. Goody Ma's name is Barb. Hi, Marcy. How are you? Um, and Frugal Peanut. Here we go. This is Marcy. How are you, Marcy? Okay, so 
I hope that makes sense to you guys. And and I can't say that there isn't a one of us that has done it, whether accidentally, on purpose, or whatever, not realizing that that policy is is in place for that reason. But you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you should not. You will get, you will get busted. Sounds good, Jan. Thank you. Um, and it's it's not it's not right. It's like saying. Uh, I, I, I've given enough examples. We 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 can move on. From, what about what about the vintage glass lamps that have always been known as Tiffany style? What do you call them? They're Tiffany style, but they're not Tiffany glass lamps. Unless they're a Tiffany glass lamp, then you need to put wrought iron. You need to find out who made it, or you need to put is um, wrought iron slag glass stained glass, whatever, leave the word Tiffany out because they're not a Tiffany. Does that make sense? This, and also there is a Facebook group that um, Jocelyn, Crazy Lamp Lady has. It's, it's uh, identifying antique and vintage items and stuff like that. Somebody in there is going to help you. There are lots of places that you can get help. Um, slag glass is a very uh, big buzzword. And, and let's talk about slag glass for just a second. You have stained glass and you have slag glass. Stained glass is a little tiny pieces of glass that are welded or, or not welded, but um, uh, I can't think of the proper word, sorry. I have this problem. Um, you can search for it, but I'm just telling you right now, Brett, you're not allowed to do that because you're falsely advertising. Soldered. Thank you, Michelle. So little tiny pieces of glass soldered together. Slag glass is one piece of glass, and lots of times it's curved, so they heat it up and they bend it, and it's behind the, the wrought iron. So when you see a slag glass piece, it's one piece of glass that's been that's been curved or shaped with heat because they heat it up and then they curve it and and uh, soldered and um, and they put that behind the glass very self behind the uh, the the wire or the wrought iron or whatever it is that that they're inserting it in. Okay, so that's that's all right, Rachel. Works good. <laughs> It's funny because they'll be there, but I can't get them out. It, it's 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 been an issue for a few years since. It's called chemo brain, and if you ever hear anybody saying anything about it, it is real. All right, two hundred. Yes. Okay, this is a good. I'm using you. Just because somebody else is doing it does not make it right, Douglas. And it is against eBay's terms of policies terms of, uh, wow, I can't even talk tonight. What else is new? Uh, terms and, um, what did this say? eBay's uh, policies and terms. So you guys, us guys, we guys, everybody, when we agree to those policies and sell on a platform, we need to follow their rules. There, you can that you can feel that way. I'm just telling you what they say. It's not a broken rule, and many people have been suspended and lost their accounts for doing that. I guarantee you that. <sighs> Thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> okay, so we've got that one out of the way. Let's get out of there. Let's get out of that situation. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to just get into a little bit of the, let me do this. Let me do this. Lamp parts picture index. <clears throat> this is, this isn't the one I wanted to start with, this one. Okay, you guys, the um, anatomy of a lamp. Just type that into Google and you will see that there are a million different pictures. Well, maybe not a million of all the different kinds of lamps and all the parts that you need, wiring kits, all of that good stuff. Um, 
Is this the one that had it online? Lamp information. Diagrams right here. This place, the lamp works. Description, the, the link is in the description down below. We'll show you all the different pieces of all the different types of lamps. And then they go into a lighting timeline and they talk about all the different kinds of, of fuel that was used for these specific kinds of lamps. This is a really good, a really cool um, site. And it has a reference de de desk, which is super cool. The lamp works illustrated glossary of lamp terms. Anything you want to know, acid etching, annealing, annealing cracks, base, blaze hole, all of the little teeny tiny parts, a cigar lighter, chimney shade. So they're going to go into, where did I have that? Online shopping, lamp diagrams. They're going to go into all of those different um pieces so this one has a shade and a shade holder central i have one sitting on the on the um shelf behind me okay so ethel aka brett sent me this site which is amazing if you have um a vintage antique lamp and you're looking for a piece this is the place to go and it also has uh images and all of those but it will tell you exactly what style lamp you have and you can just stroll through here very carefully not allowed designers like cherish and first dibs you can use terms like yeah, well, I'm not talking about there though, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a and and Michelle brings up a good point here. On the sites directed more to designers like Cherish and First Dibs, you can use terms like Tiffany style or in the style of XYZ, but not on eBay. And you know, just like you can't, you, there's a lot of things you can't sell on eBay that you can sell on Mercari or some of the other sites. So I'm specifically talking about eBay removed your listing. How? Oh, yep, they've done it many times. They will do it again. So anyway, here you go. These are just small pictures, but then if you want, you can go in here further, and I'll let you guys do that, and you can find the picture index can help you find the lamp parts. Let's go in here. Let's just open one of these babies up. And here you go. It, gas electric combination lamp part index. So this is going to tell you everything you need to know about every piece of this style of lamp. And every lamp that has a glass, has any kind of a shade, has a finial. This little tiny piece right here on this one, this one hangs from the ceiling. And, and so the finial is on the bottom holds the holds the glass shade on and then if you have a table lamp you'll have a finial on the top it is super important when you're selling a um an antique lamp and you want to to make sure that you have got um all of the parts and pieces and if you can and if you can find the the actual shade that goes with that lamp and you have the finial then you are in you're in the money um because a lot of those parts and pieces have been lost over the year and hundreds and thousands of them are in janet's mom's basement <laughs> just saying It's frustrating. It's word specifics like saying fits instead of style sort of thing, but it, it it's true. And I I, under, I understand that, Brett. It, it it is super frustrating because how you know you you have to be able to be good with keywords and when you're starting selling, that's a hard one. 
but there's also many people that you can reach out and ask for help. And that's the best part about um, maybe my videos. And there's uh, there's lots of other people. Courtney um, Bolo Buddies does stuff like this. And then there's the face Facebook groups. There's always somebody that their specialty, their favorite thing is a certain thing. And they're almost always super happy to help you because that's their thing. They love it. They enjoy it. And Hi, Mom Knows Treasures. Hi, Danielle. Um, and so there's always somebody out there that is usually more than happy to help you. And in my case, if I don't know and I can't find out in five minutes, I'll, I'll, hi, Sue, how are you? I will find somebody that knows and, and send the person to them because nobody knows everything and nobody can find everything but there's somebody out there that knows it, right? Okay, so let's see, we talked about, okay, we talked about that. Let's look at, I'm gonna get this over with before we get into, into some actual lamps. So vintage lamp replacement parts, which Jan has a ton of and we're gonna look at, but right now we're just gonna look here. An antique mixed lot lamp, hardware lighting, hardware parts replacement restoration. This is kind of like, like a junk drawer lot for all of these pieces here. These tubes right here, let's see. Let's go here because they show it better. These tubes right here, they're, they're basically cardboard, but they literally go over the light piece of a chandelier to, to hide to hide this piece, right? They slide over, they're decorative. Um, you can paint them if you want to, or or you shouldn't, in my personal opinion, but if, if it's your lamp, it's your lamp, right? Here's a finial, here's a finial, here's a finial. I think these might, no, those aren't finials. A pull chain, so $40, I, I don't know, that's what they're asking for it. I personally would ask more. I personally would separate them out. These piece, these cardboard tubes right here, the original ones, they're fairly hard to find because they get ruined pretty easily. Here's one right here. Let's see. This one up here, you can actually see it sitting over the top of the of the piece. So if you have all everything authentic in your in your lamp. You can, I, you can buy these new, there, but, you know, I'm just saying. So I'm just saying. What do we got here? Yes, Rachel Strickland absolutely uh, can, um, is very good with designer clothes and designer purses. If you guys need help, she's got some amazing videos on um, how to verify uh, Chanel bags and coach bags. Do you have Chanel? I know she has coach Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Go check it. Rachel, drop your channel in the, in the, anybody. As a matter of fact, I see a couple people here that Danielle. All right. You guys, if you have a YouTube channel and you want to drop it, drop it, drop your, drop it like it's hot. All right. So Jan has drawers and drawers and drawers of these things. Oh man, I forgot to bring, here's a slag glass lamp. And this person is actually selling one panel, one panel. See how this is one, this is one piece of glass. And it's curved. Let's go down here. See that? I wonder why they did that. Maybe. Oh, I'll tell you why. I, I'll, I'll tell you my theory on it. How's that sound? These slag glass lamps are very popular and they are worth some money. But the caramel colored, the browns and the blues aren't as popular or worth as much money as the more colorful ones. 
So more than likely, and that's about what you're going to pay. That's about what they're worth. Um, whether you like Dr. Lori or not, I do. She's very informative. She may be hard to listen to if you think so. I don't know. I like, I've learned a lot from her. Um, I just was, I, obviously I was doing research on lamps and stuff. So I was listening to her and she had one that she had in her hands that had been in the family for, for over a hundred years. And you know, they're just, it was brown and blue. She said it was worth about 70 bucks. So this guy is taking, this guy or gal has taken this lamp and they have taken it apart and they're selling just the pieces. That is genius. Parts and pieces, antique ceiling light, mounting hardware, threaded rod adapter, lamp fixture parts, $7.95. $74.50 for a lot of three antique electric lamp work. Rachel, your husband's an electrician. He should have all kinds of this kind of stuff. He's, he's the, the reseller who's not the reseller that's an electrician. Yes, and, and absolutely, absolutely, exactly what Jeremy said. The pieces are um, incredibly easier to ship than a whole slide glass lamp. And going to that, going to that too, make sure when you guys look these up um, that you're realizing what you're getting into having to package these and ship them out. If you can get a, if you buy a lamp for a couple of bucks and it's going to sell for 70 bucks, is it worth it all the time and the effort that you're going to put into packing that and shipping that? And when you make your price up, you may want to add, put a flat rate shipping price on that of whatever, because that's your, your you have to charge for your time to ship that, correct? So, you know, maybe buy that lamp and maybe part it out just like this person did. I mean, genius. I have a video on my channel about a Mr. Christmas that I bought. A Mr. Christmas thing that I bought and parted out. And I show you guys exactly how I did it. So, just because the lamp itself might not be worth a ton, that lamp has, let's go back here real quick and open this back up because I want to show you. There are some, he, this, this listing for this lamp is only for this, but you have the finial, you have the black piece right here. And then once he gets rid of, they get rid of, he, you have the, you have the base to the lamp, you have the pull chain, you have the actual, uh, outside part of the lamp itself. Maybe somebody just needs pieces of that. So there's a lot of money. And how many panels were in this? Let's see if it shows right here. One, two, three, four, five, six panels. And he's selling them for $48.50 plus $10 shipping. Genius. Genius. Lots of times you're better off parting these things out no, ma no matter how beautiful they are because they just aren't worth being able to shit. I mean, I would spend 50 bucks on that slide, slide glass lamp. I would pay $50 for it and part that sucker out <laughs> in a heartbeat. Um, let's see. Hey, Mike, how you doing? And Dragon Value Home, how are you doing? How you doing? <laughs> anyway, so... Um, well, he had five of the six anyway. True. So, I mean, you can just, if you, if you, I guess mostly when I do, when I do these videos is because I want you to look at things in a, in a much different way. If you, if you found a coach purse that's authentic and it is torn to pieces that it is, it is just roached, whatever word you want to use. You still have the coach emblem. You have the zipper. You have the, uh, any kind of buckles or anything that are on it that you can salvage. 
and you can sell those because there are people that repair those and they're looking for those pieces. That makes sense. All right. Seems like a crime. Like, like, so didn't we talk about selling kidneys last night? I feel like we did. <laughs> oh, what do you guys got going on here? Ter Terry Sue Google lens said my fake LV was worth 3,400. You can't say that Google lens just because Google lens tells you it's worth something doesn't mean it's real. It just, if it looks like something. So there you have people like Rachel Strickland, my girl here, where'd you go? You were just up here a second ago. And her, she put her, um, he brings you home old lights from people's houses. Maybe he better be doing some more of that because you're going to see, not that you didn't probably already have an idea. Um, I saw your post on that too on, was it on Instagram? Did you put that post on, on, on Instagram, Susan? I think you did. Um, anyway, cause I remember seeing, maybe it was in one of the Facebook groups. I remember seeing something about it. You're a sub of Rachel also. Good. Um, I remember seeing your post about that on Google lens. So, so we can get an idea of what something is through Google Lens, then we have to go a little further in our research. And if you need to ask for help for somebody, ask for help. And if somebody's rude to you, kick them to the curb and find somebody else. There's all kinds of people out there that are having a day or whatever, but there's no reason for anybody to be rude to somebody. Are you in are you in Courtney Bull Buddies um, Facebook group? Maybe that's where I saw it. I'm, I'm one of the mods in there and, and boy, I tell you some people, some people, right? So let's see. We did that. We did that. All right. Let's get into, let's, let's do a little more talking about how do you determine what the heck, or whatever that is, how to determine the year a table lamp with many this is really cool. Let's get rid of all this nonsense. Wondering what your antique table lamp is? Some old lamps are not just beautiful. They are valuable too. Table lamps made by renowned designers. Lalik is one. Tiffany is one. There's many more. Let's see if I put any. Um, those are just coming off the top of my head. Anybody in chat, feel free. Feel free. Um, table lamps made by renowned designers usually have a date stamp, a product number, or the manufacturer's name listed on them somewhere. Oh, by the way, down in the description is a video, uh, let's see, by, where is he here? He's funnier than, I'll get out, Dingo588, how to spot the most valuable table lamps, buying to read sell flip online this guy is obsessed with lamps and if you really want to learn about some lamps go watch him this video that he has here is like eight eight minutes or something like that um all right so there's a lot of resources down in the description by the way um ebay search ma manipulation on the anatomy of a lamp how to determine what we're going to talk about right now uh so you have lalique you have lundberg Blah, 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 blah. That's very professional. So by determining the year of a table lamp was manufactured, you can learn a lot of information that may help you discover its value or find any replacement parts needed. And then there's all these people selling you all this stuff that you can get free online. So antique lamp identification, you have all of these. This this link is, is, is listed in the description. You have all the like collectors week reports antique lamp company provides stuff old house journal one of the first places to look for stamp or the maker's hallmark begins with an examination of the base of the lamp. antique lamp supply recommends picking up the lamp looking for a manufacturer's symbol name or date stamp embedded in the base 
Um, let's open this up and see and see what. That's not where I got them from. Anyway, and they will tell you here uh, that that video by Dingo. He also goes into a lot of that as well. And another thing too is on some of the the high end glass lamps. Um, there will be a felt on the bottom and sometimes you have to peel that felt back to see the, the, the signature in the lamp itself. So, you know, um, there you have it. Examine the lamp plug. Note whether the cord and plug look old. If the cord does not look old, someone may have replaced the original, which is normal. Not unusual for people to rewire lamps. And it's also a good thing, right? Because, well, we don't need to go into that. Examine, let's see, how to look at a house. If a plug is polarized, it will have one plug larger than the other. Y'all, the three, the, um, let's see if I got one here that I can. You guys all probably understand that, right? This one. This side here is just a tad bit bigger than this side, but usually they have more of a, um, I don't know if those ones are too old to have. No, nope, these ones aren't polarized. Polarized. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you guys know what that means. Um, anyway, so. Let's see if they have any more pictures. Of course not. Of course not. So. Let's go here. it up on the internet on the interwebs here you go all different brands of plugs this this plug right here is bigger than this side right here which makes it polarized right so you can still get plugs that look similar to the old ones that are on your piece but they're new and they're safe or here's older ones if you want to keep that look that goes with your lamp, I should put this, this, uh, that's a pretty cool site. Anyway, plugs, all polarized plugs, you all also non polarized plugs. So you can buy all of these when you're going to repair or replace your, um, wiring, which is really easy to do. You guys, um, don't be afraid to do this, to, to rewire a lamp. There are so many videos out there on how to do it, but I can just tell you from experience because I've done it many times myself. It is really easy to do. Oh, here's a good one. How to identify antique hand painted lamps. This, I mean, you could just, you could just you could spend days looking at all clues in the cord. And that's something that Dr. Lori also says. One of the first things you should do is look at the cord. It's going to, that's a car. <laughs> that's hilarious. It's not going to have a cord. It's too old. Um, maker's marks, minor details. Um, some of the, it's not Lalik. I don't think it's Lalik. There are hand painted lamps that are reverse painted. That means, let's see. Oh, we don't want that one yet. I can't. He talks about the okay here we go these lamps are reverse painted which means let's pull this one up it's, it's better they are painted on the inside of the shade 
rather than being rather than the paint painting being on the outside they're painted on the inside of the shade which is just brings four thousand dollars you guys scenic jumble painted glass table lamp and they don't even know who made it if they do they sure didn't put it in the title so you don't know who made your tiffany style lamp use some amazing keywords beautiful antique scenic jungle painted glass table lamp um and then you can go down here and read their description oh it just took it all away uh learn more stunning lamp tropical red and green condition See, they, they don't even know who made it, so you don't have to know who made it. And another thing about learning who made these, the, 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 the maker's mark could be, it, you could, it's a, it's a magician's trick to find some of these maker's marks on some of these lamps. So this is painted from the inside. This is a gorgeous lamp. If I had $4,000, I'd buy it. Why not? Why not sell cord if there's a viable demand for it? You can. If I have a totally trash lamp with a really cool old cord, I can like sell the cord plug. You sure can. You sure can. Um, so these are just amazing. Antique pair, point puffy ribbed glass revers painted flower lamp shade table lamp that's a mouthful <laughs> let's see they took it off see how that is paint that's gorgeous it's really hard to bring a reverse painted item through and explain to it just by looking at pictures so if you're in an antique mall or somewhere like that or at a estate sale and you see one check it out get yourself familiar with it even go on here there's probably um many videos of, wow look at that one reverse panel painted six vintage glass lighting that's gorgeous only 1250 that's not bad part that one out too except for it's too uh it's too unique to want to part out anyway all right we went down that rabbit hole so did that let's talk about some lamps let's make sure is jan here yet oh jan's here hang on hang on let's see let's remove that hello hello is it dark down there i'm turning on lights Whee. let's see denise has two trench art lamps made with big bullets made by soldiers how do i know if the old bullets are oh they're safe they're safe to ship there's nothing in them i've sold several of those absolutely safe to ship there's no ammunitions or anything in them and they go for really good money too. Don't 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 sell yourself short on those because they're hard to come by. And the, if you look at the date, if you look at the bottom of the bullet, and you put all those numbers in or use Google Lens, it'll tell you exactly what ammunition it is, what it was used in, which is good to use in your um, title. And it worked. My son was in the National Guard, so that helped me when I was dating mine. He was like, thanks, Katie. Katie, go have another drink and come back and say some more nice things. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So, Jan, for those of you that don't know my friend Jan, Antiques from Karen. Karen was her mother. There's a reverse painted lamp. Are those pansies? Oh, my gosh. Oh hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not reverse. 
Yep. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, it's reverse painted. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. So this is the inside of the lamp. That is gorgeous. And that's the outside. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a thickness. Yes. That white, so that, uh, see what Jeremy's saying? That white, that white, you're not going to shoot yourself, Denise. It's been, oh, uh, you may have, I may have to buy that. I don't have the lamp to go with it, but I'm sure I can find one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the collar. That would go so good right here in my That's office. That's the first time I've had a light underneath it. <laughs> Jan's gonna make some money. God, I hope so. Oh, I know so. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have competition. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Amy does love her pansies. Uh, she does. She does. Yep. Um, Denise says it sort of looks like a boob. It does, but it's missing part of its of, of its pertinent information. Um. <laughs> Anyway, so Jan was down here a couple of weeks, three, two weeks ago on her Sunday live, and she was doing this, and I was telling her some things, and she had, that's a slight glass lamp right there, you guys. Most people are more most familiar with these hanging over a pool table or a billiards table, which is the same thing. I meant a, a poker table, that kind of stuff. These slag glass lamps, these ones right here, these shades, now they go for some money. Not necessarily that slag glass lamp that we were looking at earlier. Um, the green, oh, wait a minute. Have you told her that, Denise? The green shade is what she needs. <laughs> this one? No, the green, uh, Go. it's all green. It goes on like a... Uh, uh -uh. Oh, I, I know which one she's talking about. Yeah, we'll get there. Passed. Okay. All right, you guys. So Jan listed a... I want that one. I, ooh, that, you're probably keeping that one too, aren't you? I don't know. I don't know. She won't let me have the one on the front this porch. Is, this is the one with the finial on the bottom. That is a finial and on the bottom. And if you look through it, you see the cylinder in there? Yep. Because it was probably, show me the top, will you please? I wonder if it was, if it was a gas lit lamp at one point it in time. Um, don't know. That's really cool. Brutalist is a word that I would use in, as a keyword in the description of that one. Um, Brutalist for this one? Yeah, look at the, look at the metal on it. What does that mean? Yep. It's just a style. You can use hammered copper too. Okay. You're getting somebody's gonna have to drop the spelling of that in the chat. Brutal list. Um anyway, so what Jan really has in there that I want to talk about is a cabinet full of stuff. Brutalist. Yep, Maggie got it. Um, because as as much as much as her mother collected lamp, do you see? I want the cabinet. I mean, well, let's just start there. I'm <laughs> keeping this cabinet. I know you are, because you should. Even though I'm jealous, I'll find one someday. <coughs> so she started opening up this cabinet, and I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Finials! Oh my gosh!" You don't even really need to, for the most part, that one's marked, isn't it? It looked like it had a mark on it, a name or something, some kind of mark. Brutalist is anything crude in make, very popular in the Spanish area, era of the 60s and 70s. Thank you, Rhonda. I can't so, make out what that says. That's all right. So, finials are just like... They're like they're like gold because they're like that one little left over touch. And then you have the washers and the pieces that go to them there. 
That would go. Yep. That's a key. Looks like. And it just goes on. All the different. She's got some plugs there. All of these pieces are worth money, money, money. They're different sizes, different shapes. They can have a new wire put in them. They don't have to, you don't have to buy a brand new piece. And many people don't want a brand new piece because that one's got the pull chain on it. It's in good shape. It just, yep. Ev Ev Leviton. Leviton. Hi, Lori. How are you, right. girl? And and that's, you know, I, I don't know. If, I know you were listening. I don't know if you're watching, but I was showing some, um, uh, junk, like a junk drawer lot that some people had on Etsy. And they threw all the, they like took that whole drawer and threw it out, probably put a price on it. You're getting, really getting into the money here. So Jan is going to take all of this to the, the, those go to an oil lamp, obviously, uh, to the barn and, and she will, that goes to a floor torch, 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 lamp. And what, because these things aren't going to go anywhere. Nope. And they are always going to be worth some money. And these are the stems and the pieces that that people lose. The chandeliers. Where are the one? There you go, the top. Where you have some of the ceramic, yep. the old ceramic. Um, yeah, the labels on these drawers are not accurate, so... Oh yeah, I'm sure they're not. I'm trying to figure out how to. Okay, there. Now my hands are free. Oh my gosh. I think these are called tulips, brass tulips. Yes. As 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 Brett says right here, usually brand new stands out, and it, it, it just looks wrong. And that's 100% sure. Even if you buy a piece that's been made to look distressed, it's not going to go. Those little thim those little wooden pieces are for going with candelabras and, and whatnot, but they're they're definitely worth the money. All those little pieces go to chandeliers. Every single one of them. So when you find these lamps that people are getting, and, and I have to say, I have thrown a few lamps away. I am guilty. I am guilty. All of these little pieces, if you somebody offers you a lamp, look at it. It may be the ugliest lamp in the world, but you know what? Those parts and pieces in there, that goes, looks like it goes to a bridge lamp. Ooh, Something. cool. That's amazing. That's cool. That is cool. Crafter's candle cups. Here's what's underneath the cardboard. Yes, there's, that's what's underneath the cardboard. And then they've got these two. Uh-huh. <laughs> Too late, Brett. She already did it. <coughs> did what? Pull the pulled that knot. Okay. Where where are the other ceramic pieces? Yep. Those see those ones right there. Hold it up so that we can see. See where it screw the screw pieces. Hold it the other way. Well, that works too. How it screws in. You guys, I challenge you to look these up because if you go back. Um, Brett or Doug, could you guys drop the link to Jan's uh, working live, not last Sunday, but the Sunday before? Yep, that's kind of lamps part one for no that was the That was lamps, and then we, we dove into a lot of this stuff, and that's why we decided to do this. 
Katie said she had a lady, you had a lady offer you a bunch of lamps for free. Well, you know what? Now you know, right? This is, this is, there's so, that's amazing. Not only that, you guys, look at the, look at the price of metal. That's brass. I know. So I have a brass lamp that's in my front room. It's, one of my friends gave it to me. It was a four or $500 lamp. I love it. If you have, if you surround yourself with things like this that are, look at all of those parts and pieces. That is rusty gold right there. All, all of those little pieces that go, that one first piece you picked up, a finial, that would go down and then the finial would go on top of it. Yep. Don't ask me how I know this stuff, you guys. Just don't. And somebody, a.k.a. Jan's mom, maybe even Jan's grandfather, probably started this, would be my guess, because that is his basement. Yep, that is, great, great, that is, great grandfather. Yeah, your great grandfather. So he may well have started this collection and your mom added to it. I don't know. I'm wondering if she, because a lot of these have prices on them, but that these prices true. are no longer accurate. Oh, no, no, no. Not even close. Okay. So you guys, if, if you want to see a little bit more of ceramic pieces, and Rachel, this is something that if you're still listening, which I'm sure you are, um, some of those old ceramic, and you got to get the old because you can still buy new. You can buy new, right? That look new. Some of those older, just single ceramic pieces that went into the wall with a pull chain on them. Those older ones are, oh my gosh, you guys. Um, the prices on them are ridiculous because people want them circa to their house. I am remodeling a 1925 house. And so if I wanted to get light fixtures that were circa to my house, this is where I would be looking. That lampshade right below Jan's hand is worth probably 50 or 60 bucks, maybe 70. How do I, I know? This? I sold one from Sunday that yep. we looked up. And I looked up specifically shades that I had multiples of so that I could put up um, listed on eBay with quantity number. And we found two. I washed it up. It was filthy like this. <laughs> Noel found um, the best. We went looking, Googling and everything else. And we actually saw that. Walmart sold that shape, reproduction shapes. Oh, a third party seller on walmart.com. Yep. And they were, and it was, um, they had it $149.99 for that shade and it was out of stock. I listed it last sun or two Sundays ago, $149.99 quantity two. And by the following Sunday, I had sold one of them for 127 did you send me the picture of that listing on Facebook? Uh, I think it was in Messenger, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna These see things. if I can. These. Now, I've noticed that as I'm comping some of this stuff, you know, like Noelle said, colors are definitely selling better. There's five of these. And I'm done looking for the lamp that they go to. And I'm going to list them just like that. Because, yep. Oh, my gosh. That's a, uh, is that crackle glass, too? This, yeah. The one, the red one. That, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking for your. Uh, the white one? I'm just looking for the picture that you sent me. I can't remember if there's you still it. one listed on my eBay. I know, but I don't have your eBay store. It's antiques from Karen, isn't it? Yep. Your eBay store. Yep. Oh, 
All the harps. I can't see the chat, you guys. She took away my god powers or something. That's so... No, did I take them away? I don't Karen, know. Look at, there's an eBay store that's called Karen's Antiques and Things. <laughs> Why am I not finding yours? Antiques from Karen, no spaces. I'm looking for your eBay store. So try Shoot for Dreams. That's my eBay ID. These I need to comp. Those are unique. I bet you they'll sell well. Very much so. Let's see. Oh, Doug put it in the chat for you. I know, but Doug, you can put it in the chat for me all you want. I can't copy that over to StreamYard. These flame ones. Oh, wait a minute. The Hang on a second here. Let's see if I can... Let's see what I can do here. These. I'm going to let those up. Let's see what I can do okay. here. All right. These. I'm going to let those up. You got to mute whatever you're what I can doing do here. here. And there's more, uh, those are waffle, torsier. We learned that. Don't know what those ones are, but there's five of them. So I'm going to comp it and quantity and somebody could buy one or buy them all. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Um, all right, I'm going to do this and antiques from Karen. Here it is right here. Yep, that's the one. That's just one. I mean, she had you had two, right? Sold yep, one. I had two. Sold one for the asking price. <clears throat> yeah, I took it. I took the very first offer of one twenty-seven. Oh. I have a I have a horrible habit of getting too excited and just immediately accepting. But That's I do so have one twenty seven for uh this is what this is okay, this is where I'm trying to get across to people. You walk through the shelves, you walk through goodwill. I have to close my eyes because I have to concentrate here. Walk through goodwill, savers, local honey hole, and you walk right through this aisle that has all of these shades in it and you don't stop and look and, and and not just you all of us because it's not something well, that sure we're as hell isn't me i'm for. not walking we're through looking for a five dollar vcr i'm not you're, you're looking for a video game you're looking for a pair of hoka shoes you're looking for stuff that everybody that is in our community that that has a youtube channel that wants to make money and show you all these bolos I'm looking for this kind of stuff. I'm looking for um, <laughs> action figures. I'm looking for, I am going to blow your guys' minds. I am looking for stuff like this. How many of you people, I want a one, would, would even look at this? How many of you guys would even look at this? That's different. There's a bunch of those. I paid. I learned. Five. I learned from Brett's uh, website that this is called a font. That website that she sent us. This is yes. called the lamp font. I didn't know what it was called. All right, you guys. This is your bolo for the day. That one's cool, too.
I paid five dollars for this. Do you see this? Two thirty nine. <laughs> and that's not a joke. It, it's a uh, we could do this shopping. And it consistently sells. Not a lamp. No, it's not a lamp. I always give them one uh, <coughs> one bolo that's not related to what we're talking about. Now, see, this okay, one's all so broken. I'll part this out now because this one's broken down here. So this is a fine. Hi, Mike. How are you? Thanks for coming in. Oop, I hit the wrong button. Dang it. I wanted to make you solo layout. There we go. This was listed on, on the website that Brett sent us. Rhonda, Rhonda got junk in our trunk. <laughs> when Dren and I drove down to California in January, Courtney was doing a live listing on Bolo Bet live listing. Courtney was there. Rhonda was there. Rachel Strickland was there. Um, who's blowing me up? It's not me. And Carissa was in there and they were having a blast. And I literally had two hours left to drive and I was having such a hard time staying awake. And I put, I put the list, I put the show on my phone and then I had it on in the car going and every time Courtney would say, um, got junk in our trunk, Dren would giggle. He was so tired. He would giggle and he goes, got drunk in our trunk. What kind of junk do we got in our trunk? And he was, it was hilarious. Anyway, they kept me awake for the last two hours going down there. He had a very good time. But Rhonda. So I definitely, definitely think oh, I'm going to part that out. You think you're going to part that out? Yep. Just pump what I want out. to know is what are these pieces called? Because there's a lot of these. I don't know. You'll have to look them up. But why do you want to part this one out? Because it's broken. Okay. That's a good. Oh, I see. Yes. 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 Definitely. Um, so all you can do is go to the that same one that we were on. Oh, that's gorgeous right there. Yeah, the top got broken. That's it. That's all right. It's a gone with the wind style lamp. I believe yep. that's there was that's the, the one on top looked just like that. You got it. Uh, the car, the Jeremy said, were those car lamps? I think they, I think they are yeah. Jeremy. I think they go to like a model T or something like that because there's a pair of them. Um, that's my thought on what they are. Pretty, pretty darn sure. Hi, Jose. How are you? Yep. I'm almost 100% sure that that's what they are. But I've been wrong before, and I'll be wrong again. Nice use of the duct tape down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you guys, not, I mean... I relate very well with Jan's mom because I think Jan's mom's mind worked. I think Jan's mom was had a photographic mind, a photographic memory as well. And she knew the value of a lot of stuff and she bought it. That is a train light, should be a train light. That's worth some money. That's all worth some money, right? Yep. I mean, it's all got to it, be listed. List it and forget it. This stuff, I mean, you guys just look at the plethora and even the shades that don't. That, I love that too. There's another brutalist type, you know, shade. So the crystals, if this lamp is broken, if this shade is broken and the rest of it's broken, these crystal prisms, they can sell for a ton of money. Everybody one at a asks, time everybody asks me for crystal prisms and i'm like i'm not ready to sell them until i have all the lamp stuff together but yep. there are so many crystal prisms here and when you see crystal prisms somewhere pick them up 
Those are gorgeous. Those they're my color. So those are luster wear double yes. double socket, and that one looks like somebody painted it, and she Could was very well, it. Could very well have because. Uh, somebody could have painted over the top of it for sure. Did anyone spot this when she first turned on the camera? What was it, Brett? That also is it. That other way. There you go. That's nope. Yep. I see that's wow you that that's hot right now that is mid-century modern like this one that lamp that chandelier right there you I, depending on if it which it probably does has a maker's mark somewhere on it I bet you could get four or five hundred bucks for that good That'll buy stuff. Yep. And that, and of course, something like that's not too difficult to ship because nope. it's not really breakable. I mean, super breakable. It's a big, wide, flat box. Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, you have a uh, attorney. What's the what's the banker's word? lamp? Banker's lamp. Yep. Any pulled down ceiling oil lamps. Yep. Oh. Does it give you anxiety, Denise? That's okay. There's the there's the the thing for the globe. I was looking for that. <laughs> um Jeremy says those Leviton sockets on sockets on that pair of amphora lamps are close to antique or antique, no doubt. Now those I'm keeping. The, these ones right here, the blue yeah. and the with the scrolly. Oh, well, yeah, of course you are, because they go with the one on the front porch. I love it. <laughs> There's nothing over here anymore. It all went to Rehouse. The vintage Hollywood Regency Italian gold crackle table lamp. At least it appears to be when you, wherever you were when you first turned the light on. Okay. that There's a fruit one back there. This is what Brett put on here. Oh, I think I saw her message me about it. This one. Oh, yeah. 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 Gorgeous. So I've also found that just the glass to these are going oh, for quite a bit of money. Just the glass to those. Hey, Thrifty Lobster Rob, how you doing, buddy? Holy crap is correct. You have if no you're idea. Not following, Rob, if you're not following my friend, uh, Karen, uh, Karen, if you're not following Karen's daughter, Janet, <laughs> on antiques from Karen, this is her mother's, she inherited all of this, um, then you're missing out on a lot. Um. Hi, Jody. I kind of not so low key want to go estate sailing at Jan's. I have for several months. Um, come on over. Come on down is what she'll tell you. I will give I've you been... a deal, but I won't give it away because this yep. is my inheritance. Yep. I don't source. I'm not a reseller. <laughs> I mean, I am now, but. Let's see, Maggie, are you still here, Maggie, or did you leave? Maggie with Maggie came down from Canada. She had to wait. Yep. Maggie got, Maggie got a beautiful bridge lamp. She also got a, a Fenton purple swirl uh, table lamp and a big, beautiful mirror. She got other little things too, but those were the things that she drove over the border to get. Between George and I, we yep. got prices. Um, good prices for her. And then George, because she was going back to Canada, she had to have a declaration of, 
prices. And George was able to do that because he is certified to do that. George the Antique Nomad, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about. Hi, Maria. How are you? Yes. Oh, go. Stop. Down. See that, you guys? See all the slide glass? Are the mirrors right there? No, there's no mirrors here. You took the mirror tile out? Oh, the mirror tiles. Those are guys, here. Here's another, here's another quick bolo for you. If you don't know, you will shortly. These mirror tiles are money. Yep, I got to get that listed. Quantity freaking infinity. <laughs> that one. So right across, if you walk out Janet's mom's house and you look out across the street is one of the old Kodak plants. Manufacturing plants. The area that Janet lives in was is Kodak Nation, basically. A lot of the plants are shut down now and the buildings are empty, but that's that was the that was the place to work back then. Maria's been watching from her phone. She's back in the woods. Back in the woods and she's but she's home now. Um anyway, I just sold one of those uh, toasters over there the other day. Right there, that one. For almost eighty dollars. Gotta get it listed. All right. <clears throat> so this isn't the only place that we have lamps. No, she's got lamps up on the third floor. And I can I'm calling the basement floor number one. <laughs> okay. And then the main floor is floor number two, and upstairs is floor number three. <laughs> Let's see, we don't really have any lamps in here but we have all the shades that we got out and we're comping that i'm in that the middle way. of listing yep this one here is that's one of the um the lantern glass this one amber butterscotch would have never thought of calling it that. Waffle, Torshear. So we're working on these. Jan is in Rochester, New York. Mm-hmm. And wait until you see the mess that I made here. I went back there last year for almost three weeks. So I've been there. Been in the heart of it. I even did a couple of videos. That one up there, I can't find a comp on. The flowered one? Yep. All right. Looks, do you guys, you guys, here's a little hinty hint. See all of the punch bowls Jan has? Punch bowls are worth almost nothing now. Most people are throwing them away. If you yes. have the punch bowls and you have the cups, people are taking those punch bowls. They're hanging them upside down. They're taking a diamond tip blade, drilling holes in them, hanging the cups from the punch bowls and making a light fixture out of them. Yep. So look at this. New You're missing floor. something. Yeah. I'm missing three shelves. I know. They went to the barn today. Look at that doorway. Look at the wallpaper. I didn't look even know this house had guys. Those. Stop. See the lamps right there, you guys? There is a plethora of lamps in this house. Her mother was very good. Her mother knew what she was doing. There's a nice brass one right there. Chalkware. <laughs> yep. There's another weird looking chalkware thing up there. Some people do ephemera bowls and punch bowls too. Oh, yeah. This yeah. one's got porcelain. Barb, I think I'm it. cool because I am cool. Period. Yeah. How? You just wish you were me. Cherubs. <laughs> Marble. 
Another Kodak Tell lamp. Tell Parp, okay, she's one of Hi. Tell Parp, say hi, Dren. Hi, Dren. Nice. There's another Kodak. Get into the living room right now. That's all right. How do you know you are cool? I'm cool. Because I, I was born that way. Because I was born that way, kind of like you. You were born you just cool. just decide that you're cool and you're cool. That's, That's it. That's right. I want the doors and the handles and, yep. And this is the upstairs. So, and so out on the porch. Yeah, unfortunately, so there's no light out here. Oh, uh, Barb says I'm cool because I have Dren. She got it. She nailed it. I'll agree with you there, Barb. But this room is full of lampshades, too. And I'm going to tell you guys something. If you're going to estate sales, there isn't any video that I have done. And I think there's a bunch that I don't have in the playlist that I haven't done that somebody, many people haven't messaged me and say, oh, my God, I now I'm looking for these things. I'm buying them. I'm selling them. How easy is it to pick up a piece of kitchen equipment, a uh, a set, a meat and knife fork for 50 cents most of the time that sell for 20 or $30? I'm like, Mike said, oh, that, is that slide glass? No. This is, um, it's, a, it's glass. Or, no. It's a parchment? I think it's a parchment. It's got owls on it. Oh, Courtney. Oh, Courtney. <laughs> and there's another That's one of cool. those. I'm keeping those. I like those a lot. And there's more up here. Stop the train, hold the horses. Barb sees a cat. Yep. Uh oh. I guess you better take that downstairs with you because somebody's going to want to buy it. Meow. <laughs> gotcha, Barb. Okay. So here's a big bolo that I learned. And I kind of had a feeling, but at the time, oops, I just put them away. Oh my God, I made everything so avalanche-y. That goes to, that's Lester where that is a, oh my gosh. I wish uh, it was marked. Oh, wait, it is. I was going to say I. Uh, nope, that's not a mark. No. Mm, no. Somebody help me. I know what that is. Hang on. Hold it. Hold it sideways. I'm going to screenshot it. Okay. There's several of these. I think there's three. Mm, nope, there's two. Looking for more lights to turn on. did not turn out well. It's picking something else out. Oh, oh. Of course, as soon as I go off of it, I see one down in the corner. Or not. Nope. There really aren't too many in here. I mean, there's some matching ones, some pairs in here. 
Oh, there's a couple up there. Yeah, I didn't get a very good picture of it, so. Got but we'll figure it out. Treasures at every turn, for sure. A pretty megaphone, Barb says. Megaphone? I didn't see that. The lampshade. Oh. Yeah. I got a lot to do. Okay. A lot to, a lot to comp. All right, you guys. So. These are all four crystals. Lamps. Yep. Doug says the definition of ironic, a house full of lamps and not enough light. <laughs> For sure. <clears throat> so, you guys and gals, I went to an estate sale last week. No, I didn't. I did, but I went to uh, the community yard sale. That Put your face on the screen, Missy. Oh. Do, 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 do. You need to do this. So I went to a community yard sale that from my old hometown, La Center, which is, I drive run there every day for school. And they have a, a year long, every year they have a yard sale the second weekend of July. And one of the places that I went, the guy that his his wife and daughter have the sale every year, he drives for my brother Gus. Noelle and Jam, what a great life. Thanks for sharing. You're absolutely welcome, Mike. You're very welcome, Mike. So I went, I dropped Dren off at school on Friday and I hit all the sales that started on Friday. Because technically the city only advertised for them to be um, on Saturday. So theirs was one of the last ones I hit before I had to go back and pick Dren up. So I picked up some lamps and I'm going, I, I went back the next day to get them because I didn't have enough cash in my pocket. They wouldn't have cared, but I, I told them, well, did you want me to put them, put them aside? And I said, no, if they sell before I get back here, sell them. But <laughs> But, and I have a video, it will be out on Saturday, so you guys can watch it, of this, of this sale. I was pulling things up and showing them what they were selling for, and they were like, and I was begging them to let me teach them how to sell on eBay, and they just absolutely did not want to do it. And I was like, can I pay you more money? And they were like, no, you cannot. So... The most exciting one I paid a hundred dollars for. Forcibly. Where'd she go? What'd she do? She just kicked herself out of her own stream. I did. I kicked myself out of my own stream. I meant to make myself um solo I layout. Meant to do this because you guys are going to die. Like I did. My problem that I'm having is it would look amazing in my office. <laughs> but it's worth about $3,000 and I paid $100 for it. And I knew what it was when I saw it. This is Bohemian glass. It is hand painted. Nothing's broken. There's a couple of, of uh, like I need to just reattach the hook here, which is no big deal because I haven't. They, um, everything is original. There's, this is obviously they put new lighting in it so they could hang it. You guys, there isn't another one out there like it. And the one, can you see how the crystals are almost pink? Let me lay this down here carefully. Let 
I want to put it up there, but I don't think that's where it's going to go. I think it's going to get listed on eBay. All right. So I paid a hundred dollars for that and I'm going to show you what a comparable one goes for because this is the only one like it that I can find and it's sold. Am I sharing? Yep. No. No. Okay. Maria wants to know if the crystals were pink. Yeah, they have a pink hue to them. This one sold for somewhere around uh, three thousand dollars. Very similar. Very very similar. Um, Bohemian glass is amazing. It sold. They don't have the price here. The it I'm was over three. Surprised you didn't save that for the next thrift battle. I lost. The thrift battle. I don't have another thrift battle. Thanks for bringing that up, Jan. <laughs> You're not a loser in my eyes. I don't consider myself a loser. I'm just saying, here's another one that somebody has. What, buddy? In a little bit, we'll be done, and I will make you some. Um. Here's some that are listed on eBay that, in my opinion, because these are, oh, of course I didn't do that right. These are antique. These are the 30, the, from the 30s, uh, uh, from, from the 30s. You are going to be hard pressed to find these chandeliers. I can't remember what this guy had this one listed for. And of course, I don't like the way... Here we go. $280. This is a tiny one. It's not very big. Um, I don't think $334.56 uh, American. That's just a tiny one. Um, I wonder if he has, he, and he's got one picture of it. What's people? <laughs> Anyway, anywho, there's, see those lamps back there? I paid $50 for this pair happily because they will sell for close to $600. They are hand blown bavarian triplex hand painted made in western germany holy crap oh and i broke one which is okay i, I have placements i have the other piece um these are gorgeous there aren't very many out there there's a set on poshmark but I'm going to list these probably for 600 bucks. These are also considered, uh, some people will also call these uh, bohemian glass, Czech glass, all of that stuff. Um, thank you, Maria and Mike. Um, anyway, when and, and you could also even go so far as to say Hollywood Regency because Hollywood Regency is all about the gaudy and the glitzy and the, if you didn't see that these didn't have these stickers on them, but I knew what they were. And I told them and I pulled up a picture and I showed them over and over again what they were worth. And, and I said, can I pay you more for them? Because I know what I'm going to sell them for. And they're like, absolutely not. You guys are going to die when you see this video. So there's one that is, there's a pair that is similar to that thing that you're holding? Yeah. There, it's listed for $3,800. Where? 
on eBay. Oh. Pair of large bohemian lamps cut to clear glass, which I don't know where they get that from. There's no cut to clear on there. On that one, there is not. On There's no cut on, to clear on these either. On these, on this bohemian glass, do you see how it's cut to clear? Oh, is that areas? what they're talking about? Okay. Because that at the set that I think that you are looking at has color to it. Those don't. Yeah, Those it's it's green. It's totally yes. inaccurate. It's like this. So I got this piece at that same place. This is Bohemian Glass also. I paid 20 for this piece. I bought every piece of Bohemian Glass they had, and I paid $10 for this piece. Do you see the difference? So some of them are green, some are pink, some are blue. Yeah. That, that the genie pair of lamps that's listed matches that. Yes. That's crazy. It is. It is genie's summer home. It's missing the top. Um, but and it's funny because I told I told um I told the daughter when I said this. I went just like this and I go, that that chandelier that I showed you was actually hanging up in the tent and I looked at and I saw it and she goes, oh my God, day two. Oh no, it was almost at the end of the day and she goes, you're the first person that's noticed that. And I said, I have trained myself to look up, look around, look down, look under, look everywhere. Um, so what the heck? What is that noise? My fam. Oh, okay. Anyway, so I went just like this. I go, this is missing a stopper. And she goes, no, it's a vase. And I go, no, it's not. I said, feel in there. Feel right at the top. You can feel where they they actually, where the stopper stops. And you can actually feel where it is frosted in there so that the stopper won't scratch. Anyway, um, so if you are not familiar with Bohemian Glass, it is very highly sought after. That's what I'm it looking at right now. Oh, wow. Very good money. Um, it is beautiful. Can't find her channel. Terry, Terry, email Terry said that her friend Amazing Grace Mansion has lights like those. I couldn't find it. Is uh can Terry not oh Terry here? Hang on a second. There's a bunch of you that aren't blue. Um okay, Terry, if you have the link, drop it. Um mm. Sandra, how how come you're not blue, Sandra? Wow. Wow. Aggie's oh, not blue. Bohemian Moser art glass. Can you not share? Can I? I don't know. I'm can not, you share? I'm on my phone. Oh, okay. I can switch to my laptop now. Well, I can pull. I got. I've got Bohemian glass pulled up too. Um, here we'll just do this. I'll be back. Okay. Here you go, you guys. Um, so there's all a lot of people. If any of you guys follow George, you will see him show this type of bohemian art glass, and and it is etched decanters. And just look at the prices. If you see something that's odd, I can guarantee you it's going to be worth some money. Here is, where did those go? These are gorgeous. They're the same pair of, let's see what these went for. A pair of Paris Hotel Boutique, pair of vintage Bohemian Czech crystal cut to cranberry glass lamps, $695. I personally think that's, and it has the, the finial. $39.95. 
they're gorgeous when they're lit up especially the ones like mine are even more gorgeous and how do you find stuff like this people teach you about it you watch and you listen and and you look and you research and sometimes you buy stuff and it may be a bad buy but it may be a good a good um learning buy right you guys see i see these frequently and a lot of times You'll see these and they aren't really bohemian glass. They're flashed. And if you don't know what flashed is, it means that they flash painted um, the color on there rather than it being that blue color and they cut through it to the clear. I was looking to see if my... My bottle was, and I mean, they're just gorgeous. The, the, there's just no, whether, whether, whether you would keep them for their, some people would say gaudy, but they're a gaudy gorgeous. And I don't, and this is hard to explain. That lamp, that chandelier, I'm just like, I'm so in love with it, but I'm more in love with the fact that I know how much money I can make off of it. I would love to hang it up, and several people have been telling me to. Let's see if we can antique bohemian glass. Um, look at genie style bottle. Let's see. There's one on Ruby Lane that's similar. When I Google lensed it, there was one that came up that was very much like, like the one I have. You just have to be persistent. But that, that one that I have should have a stopper in it like this one. So bohemian glass lamps. And then you have your, um, oh, what was that? Look at some Lalique. Uh, Lalique will have um, a signature that is inscribed. These are hard to find, therefore worth a lot of money. This one is a Dahlia pattern. Why is it not opening up? Doug, you bought vintage Tupperware for me? You crazy fool. Um, let's see if it shows where the signature is. The Lalique signature is very difficult to find. And I have a feeling that they're not going to show us. And even if they did, it's usually down here. This is metal, so it's going to be on, it should be on the shade. Some of these lamps are all crystal, and it will just be literally look like somebody um, took a pen and etched it into the, wish I could find one. This one maybe, is this, is this Lalique? Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if this one will show us. Um, knock, knock. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hello hello all right let's let me finish this let me finish this yeah you must uh the last uh time you had somebody on with you because we can only get one seat in Streamyard, right so you must have assigned it to somebody else for a show uh nope the only person i ever signed it to was you and maybe Maybe when my phone got stolen and I had to change everything over some stuff. Oh, maybe. 
somewhere. So I found a clear one that is listed as Bohemian Czech. Okay, what do I have to do? What do I have to do to add you? Um, because I forget. You got. Hello, she left us. <laughs> I got. I, I. I'm here. What? What you need, Terry? Oh, for for Jan. You go to your main StreamYard members and add. How do I, can I do that while we're doing this? Well, I sure couldn't. <laughs> I kicked myself out. <laughs> can you go to settings and do it? Uh, you could open another tab. Another StreamYard tab. All right, you talk while I do this. Talking, talking, talking. So I've been working on this. Um... Oh, shit. So all roles. Where am so I? I have... Do I have to invite you? I have to invite you. Email address. It's antiques from Karen, right? Your email address? No. What is it? You can hear me? Yes. Where the hell's my stream yard screen? <laughs> what do you mean, where's your stream yard screen? I got, it. I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. So. Um, I, yeah. I have to. Yes. Antiques from Karen at gmail.com. We're learning everybody so you get the role of an admin because i trust you Hold on, my I gotta shut the door just heard gunshots okay carry on is it the same as a co-host yeah co-host is fine i don't need to be i don't need god okay. powers you can have god powers i don't care all right <clears throat> Wait a minute. Did did you get an invite? Because that's stupid. Yeah, hold on. Nope. Wait, still loading. Still loading. All right, well, you may have two. There she, it is. Her mama's house is not in the bestest part of Rochester anymore. Now, where'd you go? <laughs> I'm waiting for her. There, are you messing with me, <laughs> Junior? <laughs> Who showed up my powers? She's Barb Junior, right there. <laughs> okay. I thought I thought Jan was gonna have a heart attack. She, I don't remember what we were doing one day. She was live. And I had been at Mama's house all day long, and it was hot. She came back, and I was, she was hot, and she didn't have time to stop anywhere. And I said, well, I'll just take the car and go get us something to drink. And I, she was, she could not believe that I went into the store that I went to. And I'm just, like, bebopping into the store. <laughs> the guy's up in the counter that's all covered in bulletproof glass, and you had to slide yourself. I don't know. I just went in and bought two two things to drink and <laughs> went back just 
They all looked at me like I was crazy, but nobody did anything. What am I going to do? All right. What were you going to share? What? Were you going to share some stuff that you were looking at? I was looking at what you were looking at. Oh, the I lily? The, the, oh, the bohemian, bohemian glass? Search, yeah. So this that website that um, Brett sent us. Yes. That one, you said it's in your description? It is. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to grab it that. It is. And it should be the first one, Antique Lamp Supply. First one is buy you a coffee. Guess I'll have to do that. No, first. no, the first, not even the down below, all <laughs> down below all my stuff. The first, the first real antique lamp supply. Okay. Antique lamp supply. <laughs> it's like with snakes or something. They were more scared of Noel than she. Oh, I'm not, I'm not scared of snakes. Not scared of uh, yellow jackets either. Okay, so they have hanging lamps. This is what I was trying to do. I was trying to identify the parts. So I didn't search for that one, but I think that those things that you thought were keys Oh, may very well be that. I'm not searching for that, though. So let's see. The fitter. I learned about the fitter. <coughs> and the fitter is the opening for the globes. No, Denise, they aren't. Hey, look. Dun, dun, that. dun. <laughs> how strange are they really using the lamp the it's spinning hold on it looks like your um listing table it looks like this looks like the shade that i just held up for you guys doesn't it mm-hmm why is this site so slow? Or is it me? That's you. But that's oh, okay. No, mine, mine had pattern on it. But anyway, this, this was it's important. That, it's that style. It's still that yeah. style. Yeah. This, this was important when I did the listing that we did. Was figuring out um, the fitter, which and, is the top of the what, globe. You need how to, did I tell you to do that? Uh, the 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 brass ring, what's going to fit over it? A dial caliper. Oh, yeah, you told me to do that too, but I didn't. Well, you didn't on that other one, but on little one on these ones like this. Yeah. Because you don't want to be shipping them and then having somebody shipping them back to you because they don't fit. Right. The so it's thing that, that, to do that, is to the, go to Harbor Freight and get a caliper and, and buy some dial calipers for less than twenty dollars because um they they'll be digital. You can do the outside dimensions and you can turn them over and do the inside and get the exact measurement. And then you can take a picture of the thickness of the glass also with those. One of the best pieces of equipment that you can that you can use if you are doing anything that you need really good measurements on. And when you're shipping vintage and antique glass like this, you only want to ship it once. And you certainly don't want the person that you shipped it to to ship it back to you. So this is and what I was curious about with this website. So they call this shape Tall Pixie Night Chimney. Yes. So then I wanted to go to eBay. Tall 
Pixie, Night, Chimney. And I wanted to see how many people actually... Look at that. Two. No exact matches. That this this was the only part that was a downer for me is either they're that rare or or that hard to find or people just don't they're not searching for them by that. You can put that in and then you put your size, but don't forget that you can put more keywords in the description that True. search will pick up on. And a lot of people don't do that. Or mislabeled who uses pink as their default browser color. Barb, you need to get over yourself. I think Barb needs a kick. What? What is that? A Snickers bar. Barb, you need a Snickers bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's another one, chimney. Uh, those are chimney. those are okay. Let's 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 let's. There's a difference here. Those are replacements that aren't actually antique and vintage. I think those are redone. Those are repops. Right. Those. I was just looking for the name that they were calling the sheet. Gotcha. So you need to make sure when you're putting yours in that you're putting that yours are vintage original. Yes. All right, and because the there, is, there is a huge difference in the feel and the thickness and the style of glass in the original ones than there is in the glass of the newer ones because of the way the glass was made. Look at that. I think there's like eight of these downstairs. Um, Bow and scroll design etched glass shade. Type in... a. Uh, um vintage skyscraper um lamp shade globe whatever you want to call it to what to google yep what do you want me skyscraper shade sky vintage skyscraper glass shade whoa <clears throat> yep i sold I sold, I have sold several of those and I'll tell you what I did. <laughs> My first picture was of one of those with a tea light in the bottom of it lit up and the lights out. Skyscraper shade. Open one of those up so people can see the, the design. If that is the keyword that you want to use when you see these ones. They're Art Deco, of course, for sure. And you'll see them in many different styles other than this. They'll have they'll have stair steps. Mine was really, really quite unique. And I think I sold it for $180. It went to LA or San Francisco, one of the two. Super art. Great, I can see the skyscraper now, but I wouldn't have seen it if I had found one here. That's why I'm having you. Um, that's yeah. why I'm having you pull that up because um, you guys will see these. You'll see these more often than you think you will. For sure. Yeah. Deco glass skyscraper torpedo. torpedo light shade cover. Yep. I want to see that on a lamp. So pull up a torpedo, pull up a vintage deco art glass skyscraper to torpedo light lamp, whatever. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, you probably have pieces to some of those downstairs. I do. Oh. Yep. I didn't know what they were. I thought they were weird vases. You're welcome. Huh. 
I definitely would not display them in my house. That's just personal preference. They're a oh, little cool. uh, a little odd for me. To each their own, right? All I can yeah. tell you is they're worth a lot of money. <clears throat> Go shopping, Jan. Go shopping where? Go shopping at Jan's. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm like, where am I going? So I wanted Jan to come on because I wanted you guys to see the amount of lamps, the amount of money that she has. This she was knew the other one Noel told me to use, that keyword, melon shade. Very yep. important to put melon. She knew she had some money. I don't think she realized until I started seeing the parts and pieces and pulling things up. I don't think, Jan, and, and even now, I mean, she's seeing these items that her mother bought and had stashed. And now just like the torpedo shades, she has some down there. She had no clue what they were, but now she's learning. This is the best way for all of us to learn. And that's why I tried to pick a particular niche. I liked to try to stick to something that I have an idea of. <laughs> Man, but I I'm wish getting, that were my choice. But I'm getting to the point where I, I mean, and we can take deep dives, right? But I can give you guys enough enough of a push. And I know that uh, the majority of you are going, oh, my God, I've seen things like I walk past this stuff all the time. And mm -hmm. I know you do, especially those of you that have YouTube channels. Hi, Glenn. How are you? Thanks for popping in. So the 12-inch balls with a 4-inch lip fitter is going for $200. And most it's people that wouldn't size. even look at that. Most nope. people wouldn't even look I at that. I was going to donate them. I just was a round glass them. globe. Woohoo! 11 p.m. on a non-school night. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I told I told you about the stupid glow bug, right? I was there when you were comping it. So let me show you another pair of lamps that I got. And I think this pair is worth about 150 bucks. And I paid 10 for They are called Exactly, you guys, too phallic. Vintage ceramic porcelain wall sconces, light fixtures, floral, art deco design. Now, I haven't seen any quite with this pattern. I want you to pay attention here. Do you see something on the bottom of one that you don't on the other? The plug? Yep. So you could plug something into the bottom of that. These would be hung. These would maybe be hung on either side of a of a bed because maybe there wasn't room for night a nightstand. Or maybe there was only room for one nightstand because honestly, when I bought a brand new king size bed. Um, it came with a one nightstand. What, 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 what the what? I had to purchase an, a separate nightstand because they only sell you, the set only comes with one nightstand. So one nightstand would have room for one of these with a plug to put your alarm clock on. Anyway or a bathroom, or a mantle, like oh, above the mantle in my um, living room, there is only one light. There's only one of these. So um, they're hand painted, but there, there is, this is a, um, 
the flowers on these are um oh shoot what the heck when they um Maggie, type it in. Somebody, it, the the flowers on this one are not hand painted. They're they're um, transfer wear. Thank you. Jeez. So, a set of these very similar is listed for one hundred and seventy nine ninety five, and they do not have the knobs. They don't have the inner workings. They don't have the pull chains. They do have the inner workings. They don't, I don't think, nope, they don't, one of them does not have a plug-in. And it's a button for that. It's transferware as well. <laughs> I paid $10. Transferware. I paid $10 for that set. At the same place. I got all of these lamps at the same place, you guys. So, bye, Glenn. Thanks for popping in. Okay, here's another one. Keyword. Schoolhouse. Yes. Shade. Yes. And the bigger the opening, apparently more valuable it is. The six-inch yes. opening ones seem to be like these Why are you doing are, picture in picture i don't know what the hell i'm doing that didn't do it i want this one there you go so uh on that where did it go So on that website that we we're looking at, 18 inch opal schoolhouse shade, six inch lip fitter. So then I went to eBay and searched it for highest listed first. And you can see that the six inch ones are the ones that all had, there's a, there's a box of them. There's like a case of these things upstairs. Yep. Who knew? You're not just looking for the the leaks and the Tiffany's and the um No, because I mean not for no, nothing, what I'm, what but I'm you've got you've got a very small audience of people that want to purchase those. Um bigger audience than you might think. Really? A lot of people are buying older homes and, and fixing them up and doing the same thing that I'm doing. And then there are people that have mansions. And that's what happens want, when you shut the world down for a pandemic, right? Right. So, you know, I challenge you guys. I am challenging you guys and gals, peoples, 33 of you that are watching to find a lamp item, some form, some what, and list it and sell it and tag me in it on Instagram if you have an Instagram. Ooh, that because, sounds like fun. Because you will be amazed. And they're not hard to ship. These glass globes like this, the best piece of advice that I will give you when you are shipping a hollow piece of glass like this is stuff the inside of it with bubble wrap. <laughs> you need to stuff the inside of it with either bubble wrap or paper or um, if you go to a lot of... Uh, the shipping supplies sell, to ship these things are not cheap. No, a lot of crap went in that box. They are cheap if you listen. If you go to estate sales and places like that, you can buy... Quilt batting for dirt freaking cheap. Pillow batting. You'll see it in all the sewing rooms. This is the kind of stuff that I get. And lots of times they're going to throw it away. You can buy pillows and use the pillow form part. But you must stuff the inside of those. And you can't use something that you have to force in there. So bubble wrap. Quilt batting is the perfect thing because it's you can cut strips of it and just stick it right down in there because you have to give it 
something to absorb. You could do the most wonderful packing job but you have to have something in there that is going to absorb the shocks of the tossing and the bumping. I don't care if you triple box something, which is the biggest waste of time. I am. I have never double boxed anything the same. And I've sold some. If you just take your time and do a good job wrapping things and you, then you use stretch tight as long as, and, and I will, I will, I have a couple of videos where I show how I, how I um, shipped some $200 Christopher Ragco ornaments. <clears throat> polyfill so, was what we use. Yeah. We buy polyfill. big, huge I, bags of cheap polyfill. I, I absolutely do not use packing peanuts at all. You uh -huh. can, if you want to, there's nothing that will piss a person off faster than getting a package full of bubble uh, packing peanuts. True story. <clears throat> you have a huge slag lamp. Don't know what to do with it. Sell it. Challenge accepted. Sell it, sell it, sell it. You can do it. I know you can. All right, you guys. Jan needs to go to bed. She's worked her butt off all day long. And she's got another day, solid day of it tomorrow. Did you see this face? Yeah, I did. The whole doorway. You did the great. The whole doorway. And I just, I want you guys to know that I'm not anything special. Bullshit. You guys, you know, I'm, what I I'm saying. I bullshit. Whatever. She's totally special. I want, you guys can find these same things that I find. And I get frustrated with all of the bigger YouTubers constantly showing you the same shit, crap, Doug, Doug, I over got it. and over and over and over again. So you won't see that on my channel. You can spend $3 on a video game that sells for $15 with free shipping, or you can spend $15. 50 cents and buy a spatula that sells for $19.95 with $4 shipping and you don't have to clean it and remove the scratches from it or test it before you send it off. Those are the things that I want you guys to look at and buy. Buy the other stuff. Totally. If you see a video game and you comp it and it's worth 30 bucks and you're only going to spend a buck on it, heck yeah. <laughs> But don't go constantly out looking. And when they ask you, do you have any video games? No, the five guys before you asked for those too. That's a clue. When you are watching somebody's video and they ask, they ask and they say, no, the other people got them before you. That's a clue right there that everybody's looking for those. So look for things that everybody's not looking for because if they're looking for them, they're listing them. And you have that much more competition in that category. So I'm I'm trying to get people to open their minds and look at all of these other things. Pencils, vintage pencils, vintage plastic, water-filled snow globes. L look, um, here we go. Found this in the attic underneath the uh, insulation. Bazooka gum comics because of noel i sold a pile of them that was about a half inch thick for forty dollars do does anybody i think i showed this before does anybody know what this is goes in the 45s look one up you guys would be amazed at what one of these will sell for and if you have any 45 records listed that has this in it, take it out, redo the pictures, and sell just this. I think they go for about 30 bucks a piece. Just this. Look them up, Sue. I kid you not. I literally had a guy from the UK... Because I have some that are listed that still have them in. I need to take out. 
message me and ask me if I would remove those from the records and sell them to him. Now, this was two years ago. And I was like, heck no, man. Those belong with those records. And now I'm like, I got to go dig those little suckers out and retake the pictures. I have I have a box here that has... When I first found them, I thought that they were from that shooter gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look them up, Maggie. I, 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 I mean, I already gave... Man, you guys got three bolos out of me. <laughs> Don't buy the records. If the records are torched, you see a box of 45 records, look to see if these are in them. Pull them all out. How much? I just told you, I think they're about 40, 30 to 40 bucks. No way. Yeah. I was, I was off in La La Land. Let me see. It's been... How old am I? It's been 35 years since I've seen that doorway in its entirety. 35 years. $5 on this one and somebody else has one for uh, seven. Oh man, they're $24 on Zazzle. Retro, vintage, yellow, 45 spacer, DJ. Woo, woo. Now, just because somebody on eBay has it listed for $5 and $7, that doesn't mean what it's worth. Let them sell theirs. Know what your stuff is worth. Don't do all of your comps only on eBay. I don't even look stuff up on eBay anymore. I go strictly through Google. And then I look at all the sites that item's listed on. And then I decide what I'm going to price it at. I, I very, very, very seldom use an eBay price for a comp anymore. Because a lot of the sites that you will see, like one thing, one item that I was looking at earlier went to this weird site. Pickalick is one of them. Pickalick will pull, pull stuff from eBay. And they either will, they'll raise the price on it because they're like a third party seller. They're like a, I don't know. They'll rate, they'll have your listing with a higher price on it. So that's when you get something from a freight forwarder or a, um, a, uh, um, drop shipper. That's what they're doing. And, and, um, Source on eBay, sell yours elsewhere. Can you can do that too? One hundred percent. So when I do my comps on an item, I pull up Google. If I'm using Google Lens, Google Lens will bring me up that item, and it'll it'll tell you if it's on eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Walmart, all of those. Look at all of those prices. See what where where yours is condition wise compared to everybody else's and then decide what you're going to price it at. And then I mark it 30% up and I put best offer on it <laughs> and you sell crazy little things that nobody would even imagine that you would sell. And then I put it <laughs> a listing and then I, and then I go, look, you guys, what I sold on Instagram because nobody ever, I sold, this thing is, fits in the palm of my hand. I paid 50 cents for it. It sold for $26.99 plus shipping. It is a little three inch popple and it was listed for less than a week. Let's see if I can find a tiny see how tiny it is right there oh 
Bye, Barb. I love you. Thanks for coming in and, and, and being on your honorary self because you know that's what we expect of you. So don't, um, Whoops. don't underestimate the small stuff. <coughs> don't underestimate the stuff that's, that, that other people might think is junk because, as I say in my hashtags, your trash is my cash. You're so cool. <laughs> think outside the box two people that i miss horribly left the youtube world because they were treated so crappy by people in the comments as the bin pickers and i'll tell you what they saved my 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 sanity when i went through my burn and they always said at the end think outside the box remove yourself from the box and think outside next time you go to a garage sale or an estate sale look at the stuff that you wouldn't normally look at spend some time if you don't feel comfortable comping it right then and there take some pictures go to your car and use google lens you can always go back I love the bin pickers. It, it breaks my heart. They're still on Instagram every once in a while. I send, I send them. I, I miss them horribly. I mean, I really, I, I am almost going to tear up. <laughs> You're a crybaby poopy pants. After, after they got done taking all the burned skin off of my body in the emergency room after eight hours of that. And I was so doped up. It wasn't even funny. And I was in the emergency room, ICU you room, whatever it is. Trauma. And I was sitting in the bed looking out and Justin, my oldest son who took me to the hospital and the gal that was the, she was helping. She was like the nursing assistant. She was helping. We're standing on the other side of the glass door watching me. And I was just kind of like, just, and Justin brought me my phone with the bin pickers on it. And when he put it in front of me, I started bawling because it was just like this whole thing had was so surreal. And here were two people that were almost daily in my life that made such a huge difference in my ability to do stuff. And it kills me how mean people were to them because they did things different than other people. Well, it's your business. You do what you need to do to get yourself through. But just know that if it's sold once, it's going to sell again. So look at everything and don't be stuck in the box with everybody else. And on that note, I'm going to go fix Dren some dinner. I love you guys. Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> I hope you learned something. And I want to see you tag me in some form of a lamp light fixture something sale on Instagram. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye.